Our mission is twofold. We want to promote the art of fry bread cookery, and second, we want to make sure that we unify the uh, Native Americans, bringing out the best of the best, as we like to say. If there are two things in life that I am probably best at, is making bread and beauty pageants. We're here live to bring you front row coverage of the championship round of the first ever, first annual Arizona State Fry Bread Championship. There's a reason they call it Navajo Fry Bread, because Navajo Fry Bread is the best. I will be representing the Yavapai Apache Tribe at the State Fry Bread Championship. We've been cooking for about, I don't know, since we could walk, probably even before we could crawl. That's true. Yeah, I like cooking. It's a great escape for me, especially if you live my life. The winner gets to go to New York City! Let's get it on! This is the official trophy that we'll be handing out in a few days, also along with $10,000 in cash. It's more than just a bling bling, yo. It's my family. My nation's pride at stake here. Watch out, because it's going to be a fight. What if the gays in the house? That's why they send to me. Send me the best. It's like that card place. Send the best. However that goes. And the flames represent the the fire that makes the fry bread. Of course, we're not going to be allowed to use uh, open flame in the dormitory center. A fry bread's not even the you know the correct term. I, I like to call it indigenous bread. And so, what exactly does a fry bread contest entail? there is a standard criteria that the judges follow. It covers things like the size of the bread, the roundness, the color, the smell, the texture, and of course, most important and my favorite, the taste. I don't know why Buddy Begay is in the competition. My grandmother should have obviously been the Navajo representative. She's been making bread before he was born. I just make the bread. I just create, I just make magic. People come over and want to buy my bread and not their bread. Sorry, Grandma, okay? I'm here to win. It's not about being overconfident. I call it visionary. It's a big deal to get this far. Isn't history always written by the winners? I'm starting to feel the pressure. And She's going to do fine. She got me on her team. At a local contest, and I won. I'm not surprised. You know, he's big time. He's like the, the Jim Morrison of fry bread, you know, Tom Cruise of fry bread, if you will. The wolves will even cry when they hear his name. I am very excited for this competition. Very excited, I must say. You know it's nine o'clock, right? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be seven. It's too late. You had your shot. How's she doing? Well, that's what we need to talk about. It's not an option to back out right now, right? Yeah, I know. I hope you'll forgive me for not waiting to tell you in person. She can't put a price on family. I know you spent a lot of money on that plane ticket. by the way. Yeah, I know. Cause I
It's only the biggest native event in North American history. My producers from Germany come into Phoenix to audition bands, res bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about the money. Wow. We're the Blue Cat Boys. Any luck? No eight tracks, please. Yeah, just CDs. <laughs> I've just landed you the biggest gig of the year. Plates checked out, but your story still doesn't. All I want to know, Magellan, is how did you get this far south and miss the entire city of Phoenix? What you mean, Grandma don't have $400? I hope you guys are doing OK. We really needed to see you an hour ago. Nah. I'm going to have oh, no. my lawyer look That's at it. it. My lawyer oh, back on the Navajo Nation. I can't I trust no lawyers down here in contract. Phoenix. How much of a chance do we really have here? Oh, why do you ask that? Is this some kind of comedy show? Hidden cameras? James, you're a great guy. The great guys aren't rock stars. <laughs> yeah, someday we'll quit playing chapter houses. <laughs> Anything special for dinner? Something American and greasy. They're really good. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Don't wait. Cause you never know just when your life is through. Mom, I think your favorite's back. Hadi! Good morning. You know what? I think you were sitting there last spring break. You're such a joke. At, at least I'm not trying to be a white man. Bilagana Cha Give me the blue plate here, this one's yours. Does it matter what color yeah, plate? Yeah, it does. You this have? has been yours all these years. Take it, take it. Blue plate's mine, yellow's yours. I realize that there is a certain way to eat your food. You have to enjoy it. You have to sit down and and, and make it almost a, an art. I, I don't expect you to understand. Yeah, Why don't you just eat your whatever whatever, whatever. right here? Now this is real. What, food. Are, what is that? It's Vienna sausage. Vienna sausage. Where did a mess like this even begin? Is this where you put everything in the hogan? Come on, man. What do you want me to say, all right? I don't know. Talk to me. I haven't seen you since last year's spring break. I, maybe it, maybe that's what it is. It bothers me to see you not doing anything here. Maybe you should just go back to the big city, huh? Sounds like you can't handle it here on the res. I've accomplished a lot. I've got my bachelor's degree. Now I'm working on my master's. You think that just comes easily? Hey, don't compare me with you, all right? We're two different people. Jeez, you know, you call this brotherly love? This is this is nothing close to it. Well, what is brotherly love in your, in your sophisticated mind? You being my brother, you were the one who was there for me. It wasn't, it wasn't mom or dad. I became your dad. I missed out on a lot of stuff because I had to take care of you. Then you go off to college. I don't have the brains you have. I can't make it out there. This is my world right here. And you come back here and you whine to me, wondering why I'm not successful. These are what boys would play with, you know? You call yourself a boy? No, I'm, I played with this because uh -huh. to make you feel better about yourself. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, well, a lot of work. I'll be outside. Let me know how it goes. At 
love the way he can give life to a piece of stone. And there's a dignity to his figures that I find quite remarkable. There's an openness to Orland's spirituality that I think we all appreciate. He sees beauty above, below you, around you. He makes his beautiful art. Some artists are very proficient and even masterful in their technique, but you don't really get a sense of spirit in their work, but that's totally existent in Orland's work.